Hello everyone, here is Arthur talking, me, Arthur, from the blog ArthurSchiffer.com.br. Since I don't do a lot of English videos, I have, I think, one or two English videos. Uh, most of my videos are made in Portuguese, so I'm starting now to do some, some English videos. If you don't know me, here's my blog, ArthurSchiffer.com.br. Uh, it's a blog uh, where I talk about a lot of technology stuff and yes, I do a lot of videos and articles about the GLPI, good. Uh, and today I'm here just to talk a little bit about the new GLPI 9.5. It's the new one that it's on the release candidate version, so uh, it's the nearest version of the final 9.5 that is going to be delivered in a very short time in the future. So the whole situation, the whole objective of doing this video is just to show you some drops, some free, uh, how can I say that, some short videos about some things that got my attention just in the first, even in the first uh, first day and first situations that I saw the, the software. Let me just change it to English so you can uh, see it better. Good. So my first impressions on the GLPI 9.5 uh, are the best for now. Uh, at least I think that the user interface has improved a lot. So as you can see here, you can change the category of the dashboard. The dashboard is the first thing you see when you open your GLPI 9.5. So here you can change the categories. So the central shows almost everything you have, almost all the, the indicators. So you can go to assets to see just the assets indicators and you can go to assistance just to see the tickets, the problems, the, the, the changes. So I think this is very important. It was miss, I was missing something like this. So this is a very thumbs up for TechLib. Thank you. Uh, and here, as you can see, we have a lot of new icons. So now it's more beautiful to see this because you can j just seeing the, 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 the icon, you can see and you can understand what you want to access. So this is another thumbs up for TechLib. Thank you, TechLib. And other thing that got my attention, uh, I was not a, a user, a heavy user of the projects module in GLPI because I thought it was lacking of some functions, some functionalities. And one of the functionalities that they put, they placed in this GLPI is the Kanban view. So here the tags, uh, the tasks are in, in English, uh, in Portuguese, sorry. But as you can see, you can just drag and drop the tasks between columns when the, the the tasks are completed or not so this is amazing and you can also see a kanban of projects so if the project is processing or if it's uh, closed or if the project is new so another thumbs up here <laughs> because this is so amazing very good, and I'm willing to do some new videos uh, to explore it more. I, I'm one of the people that would love to use the project management module in GLPI since I use uh, almost all the stuff, almost all the, the functionalities of my business I, I run in GLPI. So using projects there as well would be a, a, a real improvement for me. And if you go to assistance, you can see in tickets that we have a new, let just it happen here. We have a new header here. Here You can see the tickets, the new tickets, the pending tickets, just opening the tickets module. So this is another thumbs up. 
let's see if it gets uh, uh, as well in, in problems no in problems no but just having it in tickets it's a very thumbs up it's a very nice functionality thank you again TechLib uh, and if you're not a subscriber Please subscribe to my to my channel. I do a, a lot of Portuguese videos, but if I have more subscribers, or more English uh, English speakers subscribers, uh, I'm willing to do some new English videos. It's not a problem for me. Uh, I can do them in Portuguese and in English. There's no problem. So uh, subscribe to my channel. Give a thumbs up if you if you think that deserves that this video deserves. And see you in the next video.